So now you have uh, three different options for that. And I went to a two floor, three floor, and a four floor option. And you know you can read on the left side of that, um, and it, this page transfers over. And this is where I have the high cost and low cost. Low cost is to the left, the high cost is to the right. And the, the shell cost, uh, I have anywhere from 125 to 135. And then I have all the other things that I noted in there, listed on there for this. So the structure, if you look down to the second total charge of that, um, the 4.2 to 4. Point, almost 4.8 on that, that's before um, you have the, the regular design fees um, um, associated with that. If you go down to the the last number, the project cost, that's the total project cost for, estimated total project cost for a two floor, anywhere from about 4.7 to 5.4 million dollars. And again, that would be based upon the assumptions that I made and the conditions that uh, we outlined in there. I took those numbers and then I really just kind of uh, refined it into a comparison between the owner, which would be Loveland, and a joint venture on that. And again, I, I, you can see that I include a sale of the site. I broke out the floor cost for the municipal site, and that would be about $2.3 million on that. So the net cost to the city on that, if they decided to do a two-floor facility on that would be about $2 million on that. That would be their cost for the development. That's assuming that they sold the land to someone else, they took the responsibility, they took the risk associated with everything else, and they said, city, okay, you build your own in that. The city's cost in that, the net cost would be about $2 million <coughs> for that. Okay, so a couple questions that are clarify. So you're giving credit at 400 grand for the sale, for the value of the raw land. Yes. Okay, so that's, that, um, that breaks down the city cost of that. Okay. Yes. You know, was there anything else um, that brought down the that city cost, or is that the only thing you're using? That's it. Okay. Do we know yet, or if it's too early, we can wait till later, uh, what the, well, we know what the TIF values can be per floor, right? That's, that TIF, it's right there. Yeah, right. And do, do we know what the uh, TIFable or, or the public infra infrastructure yet, what that TIF number might be, the construction that needs to happen, municipal parking lot, any other public improvements? Do we have what that construction number is? I don't know if you're asking. Uh, as a part of this project, that's, there's that's going to be. Just a that's just the revenue, and everything else is included right. in that. There's no. Elevated, there's no elevated parking, there's no structured parking included in any of this. This is all surface parking, and this is assuming that all utilities are brought to the site and used here. Right. And then the revenue generated is the $49,000. I guess I was getting that. Is there anything that's going to be a public infrastructure improvement that's going to be tipped as a part of this project? I presume the, the, will it be a city parking lot? Are city you asking whether the TIF revenue will be used for that? Is that what you're asking? Yeah. What, what portions of the project will utilize? You made up I, I would, I would, for this number, I just, I put a zero number to that. I, I the city is going, if the city's going to give up, if they're going to sell this for four hundred thousand, again, and this is an assumption, if the city's going to sell this site for four hundred thousand dollars, I couldn't imagine that they would give up the TIF revenue on top of that. I guess what I'm thinking is, if you went with this model, <coughs> let's, I'll make up a number. Let's say there was another 400,000 in public infrastructure improvements, most of which I would think would be in a public parking lot, assuming it's one of the public, you know, that could be another negotiating chip you know, in, in order to um, bring down the price of the city of floor. The developer in that case would be getting the benefit of a TIF. I'm just saying that could be another chip to put into the equation. Well, that, well that's, that's a wash then. I mean that's a total wash because then you're going to be reducing the TIF, the TIF revenue that the city gets, and you're just putting it over on that. So it's a wash. So either one of those would be exactly equal. I hope the city would keep the TIF revenue. 
That would because be they sell the land at such a low value, right? right. And have that ongoing right. revenue stream, but obviously, I guess hypothetically, that, that could potentially could occur. Yeah, yeah. It could but those are offset, yeah. th those would actually offset each other, dollar for dollar, absolutely dollar for dollar. Yeah. In that, they did that. Right. Yeah. So yeah. I assume that, again, you know, the debt on um, the net cost at about one thirty six. Um, again, from the joint venture side, there, there's a CAM charge for that. So the annual net that the city would have to pay for that would be about $107,000 a year. That's what it would cost them. Um, on the ownership side for that, assuming that, and again, this is without a vacancy in there right now, $206,000 of rent for the retail space minus the management fee, assuming the debt and their debt retirement is 328 on that, that their annual net is about 123. On the ownership side, wouldn't you have included that second tenant on the second floor? It's not a huge amount, is it? I, I didn't. I didn't include that component or, or whatever. That's again, that, again that would be. That could be. You know, if it's a thousand square feet or two thousand square feet, okay. that could be a couple a couple thousand dollars or twenty thousand yeah. dollars a year. It's not a big swing. I'm yes, saying that it could be that. Could number further reduce have, that. that rental number you have is only for the first floor. Right? Yes. Yeah. Okay. So it could reduce that even further. Okay. <clears throat> so I did the same thing with the three floor option on that. Same considerations, same assumptions with that. The only thing that's a little bit confusing, if you just looked at if you just looked at this and you looked at the numbers, the square foot numbers, if I didn't know anything and I was just looking at I just focused on that square square footage cost number, it was like, whoa, 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 guys, why did that rise when you have more structure, it should go down. In that typically if you have more structure because you, you've already assumed the site cost in that, well it typically would, other than the fact you're assuming the same TI, the tenant improvement, for those additional structures on that and you have a reduced TI for the first floor on that. So as you increase floors in that, the square footage cost is going to rise on that. So again, you get a, a little over $7 million and then to $8 million on that is the range for this. So again, we go to the three floor option and the joint venture, same, same thing all the way through, and again, this is without a vacancy component, without um, any kind of escrow to that. Um, city net cost annually is about $81,000 to that. Uh, the joint venture cost is about $60,000. And that's a residential fill rate of 80%. 80% right? component for the, yes. Probably going to be a little bit higher than that, but again, I, I'm trying to be as conservative as I possibly can for the for the city. So, really, this is I would say worst case scenario when you look at some of these things. And then uh, the four floor option for this, about 9.6 and a little over 11 million dollars for the project. Again, yeah, all, all things consistent. <coughs> so we get to the, uh, on the ownership side of that, um, the net cost to the city, uh, a little less than $40,000 for the ownership and less than $10,000 on the joint venture. And the reason that on the joint venture it goes down is because the city, again, is taking the TIF revenue and, and using that mm -hmm. as direct revenue into into the city. Right. And, and then that and that rises obviously with the more value that you have and the more structure that you build, the more value you, you have for this. And if you run out to two thousand <coughs> square feet on the second floor for twenty bucks you you're at dead break even. Mm -hmm. Shouldn't be yeah. yeah. That was forty grand. Yeah. Change left over for a while. 
<laughs> so. Now we're cooking with gas. Here we are. <laughs>